What a beautiful morning. What is this hairstyle? What are we doing with this hairstyle? I got a what is this? Oh gosh. Um I've got birds nest knots. So when you're on carnival you shouldn't have birds nest knots. You should just have beautiful free flowing hair. Oh gosh. But it's not um so I've I've you've got huge birds nest knots. Um it comes from the horse riding mostly. Anyway, um I wanted to speak about um this is Saturday morning, I've got to post a video. It's like, got to post a video. But I wanted to speak about fat pr priming to go on a fat fast and how I'm surprised at myself um, that it works. So, um, okay, so I was going to do a short, but let's just do a long. I need to take this hair down. Seeing myself in the video is like a little bit distressing. <laughs> that weird shape there. Um, okay, so. What happened is a couple of weeks back, I can't remember times, I'm really not your um, your detailed timeline carnivore, um, definitely not. So um, I decided some weeks back that I needed to do, um, I needed to do a fat fast, but my body, whenever I ate fat, my body would um, end up, uh, I would get water in my colon and then I'd need the loo desperately after I'd eaten fat. So somebody gave me Swedish bitters and this um, definitely worked at settle down so Swedish bitters helps your bile production uh, don't take me but just it helps with bile and it helped me to be able to eat fat but what I also had to do is I had to eat cold fat so I I cheated I bought most delicious burravors uh, sausage with uh, especially speck force the speck force is fat force um, they sometimes put pork fat inside the, inside the, the, the sausage, burravors. And so that fat was flavored with the, um, with the spices from uh, the sausage. And th so I ate that. So that was really nice. It was really tasty. And I would eat it out of the fridge. At first it was like, mm. Then gradually, gosh, um, then gradually I, I actually quite enjoyed it. Um, I was not ready to fat fast. I just couldn't I bought um, big chunks of fat I was going to do hunks of fat and I was like oh I can't do this I can't do hunks of fat so I said okay it doesn't matter it's the intention and just keep doing what you were doing but what happened with me eating the fat out of the fridge like that I actually because I stopped eating breakfast I have gone I've morphed down to um, OMAD. I'm like how did that happen one meal a day how did that happen I do snack on biltong um, but I'm down to one meal a day. And I'm like, how, when did that happen? But yes, it definitely happened um, over the last couple of, well, let's say six weeks or so. We live in a very quiet residential um, neighborhood and here I'm hearing a police sound. Whoops. Curious about what's going on. Um, right. So when I looked, I would, I don't know how long, 10 days, I was like, oh, I'm leaving the house without eating because I'm leaving the house very early. I started leaving the house early. And I wouldn't eat. Normally, I'd eat before I leave the house. I would need to. I would need to have to eat. I started not eating. And then I would come back at lunchtime and eat. And then the last few days when I came back at lunchtime, I was like, oh, I don't know if I feel like eating. But I made myself eat because I had gone to the time period when I was eating too little. So I made myself eat lunch. But then my afternoon work was like on a bit of a heavy tummy. So um, I s stopped eating lunch <laughs> and then um, I eat supper, but I'm not eating enough. This I know. So I've had to fill up my eating with the fat and butter. Yeah. So it's very interesting. They, uh, I think it's the intention. Set the intention that you want to fat fast or that you want to do one meal a day. Set the intention. Take your time. So let's say it was a three-month process going from I would like to try this and see where we go, and then head towards it. That's would be my encouragement, because it's just come about that I'm on OMAD. I don't want to be on OMAD. I, I actually don't. I actually don't want to be on, because there is some, you know, I listen to so many people, and I can't remember all their names, and all of them, um, but it seems like women shouldn't eat one meal a day, um, unless you're thriving on the one meal a day, but women should do twice a day, something to do with our hormone levels in the day. 
And I mean, it makes sense because my weight in the day goes highest in the morning, as I've said before, highest in the morning, midday the lowest, and then um, evening second highest. So I, I definitely have, you know, low midday, evening a little bit, 500 grams to uh, right around to the next morning. It could be a kilogram heavier than what I was the day before. So that's really interesting. So, um, yeah. OMAD, Wendy is on OMAD. And who would have ever thought when I started two years ago that I would be able to eat one meal a day and not even think about food for the rest of the day? How amazing. So grateful for this um, carnival diet. I really am. I really am uh, fully grateful. It saved my life. You know, 